Today we're going to show you how to customize the colors on your SDS 100 and 200 using the Sentinel software. All right, the first thing we need to do when customizing the colors is we need to make sure we're targeting the correct model. So we would go up to Tools, and then we would go to Target Model, and then we would either select the SDS 100 or 200. Today we're working with the 100, so that's already selected. And then what we would do is go to the Edit Display button, which we can click right here. Now the display customizer has popped up. It's basically two screens. One screen is showing a virtual screen of the display and the other one is showing um, colors for both text and background. As you can see on the customizer, um, there's different tabs. So you can do simple conventional, simple trunking, detailed conventional, detailed trunking. And then you can also do your uh, search and close call screen, your weather screen, and your tone out screen. So there's a lot of things you can do with the various screens on the scanner. I thought I would do today a red, white, and blue type of scheme uh, for the colors on the screen. So what we can do is make the uh, system name, which we'll click here, and then we'll make our font, I think we'll do black or maybe we'll do white. Yeah, let's do white. And then we'll make the uh, favorites list name a part of the red. So we'll make this also the background red and then we'll make the font white. And we'll do the same with the avoid. We will make that red background and then white for that. Now we've taken care of that so now we'll move down to the department name and we'll make that white so we'll select white for the background and then we'll do a black for the font and then that should look good and then we'll do the same thing here with the white and black and then the same thing for the avoid we will do the white and black. All right, we'll move down to the channel section and we'll make this blue. So we'll find blue. There we go. Um, and then we'll do, let's see how white looks. That looks pretty good. So we'll do the same thing on the frequency. We'll make that blue and then white. And the same thing with the avoid. We'll do that as blue and white there. So that's really neat. We got red, white, and blue here for the three main sections of the screen. Now the other great thing we can do is the same thing to not only change the background and the font color, we can actually change the position of where they are on the screen. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to realign everything here. I'm going to move up the volume up to the top and we can just select um, volume and put it right here, put the squelch um, on the top and then what we'll do is we'll make these fields empty empty and I think we'll leave everything the same so basically a black stripe on the bottom a black stripe on the top we moved up the volume and squelch and put that right beside of the date and the time alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this to the simple trunk and I'm gonna click OK so now when I go to simple trunk it's the same thing so if it goes back and forth in between simple conventional and simple trunk it'll show the same exact thing so now that we've got this all done we can hit save and then we can hit close. Now once you have your scanner connected you can then basically write it to the scanner the changes so we're going to go up to scanner and then write to scanner and then at this point we'll hit OK and it'll take only a second to um, to write this to the scanner just hit OK here and then once this is done you want to 
power down your scanner and then reboot it and you'll be able to see the changes that you made on the screen. Control, 